How to set up taxes on Shopify. My name is Elias and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the sales tax on Shopify for US. So basically this video is only going to be applicable if your store is inside the US. Now to get started with you will have to head over to the settings on the bottom left and then you will have to go over to taxes and duties right here. Now, now most of the time you will only have to pay taxes to the state that your shop or your store is going to be located in. But for example, let's say that if your location is in Texas, but you also have an additional warehouse in Iowa, let's say, then in this case, you would have to pay taxes for both states. So for Texas as well as Iowa. But there are also some exceptions which we are going to cover in this video. And by the way, if you have any questions, you can always leave them down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Now, once you're on taxes and duties, you can head over to the United States, which you can find right here. So I will just click on United States. And as you can see, we are currently using the Shopify tax app. So basically Shopify recently enrolled this update where they have their own Shopify tax system before and you had to use some third party apps. But now everything is basically super simple. And as you can see, the highest level of compliance with minimal amount of upkeep. Now as you can see right here, the transaction fee is 0.35% when you reach 100,000 in US sales each calendar year, which is definitely worth it in my opinion, as this Shopify tax service will basically do all of the work for you. Now to get started, you can also click on manage right here. And as you can see, there are three kind of different types to actually get started managing taxes on Shopify. The first one would be the Shopify tax service, which we've just, uh, we've, which we've just discovered. So as you can see, the fees are going to be 0.35%. Now there are also some other options, the basic tax option and the manual tax options. Now for these options, the fee are going to be none. However, they're also going to involve a lot of, basically a lot of work. Like for example, for the basic tax, uh, you will have to do a low level of compliance with a considerable amount of upkeep. And for the manual tax, you will have the lowest level of compliance with a high amount of upkeep. So if this makes sense for you and if you want to go for these options, you can do that. However, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Shopify tax right here. Now to get started, you will have to head back and then you will have to you can select the state that you want to collect uh, collect tax in. Now, once again, this is are going to be the locations that you either have a shop location or a warehouse in, or basically all ki any kind of residence, right, for your shop. Now, to get started, you will have to click on Start Collecting right here, and then you would have to select the state. Now, let's, for example, say that you want to go for, let's say, Texas. Um, and then you would have to input your sales tax ID. Now, the way to basically um, get your sales tax ID is to simply just type in the name of the state and then sales tax permit. And then you will get all of the information right here. You will just have to go on this website and then you will have to submit all of your details. As you can see, usually it can take some time act, uh, until you actually get your sales tax permit. Right here it says two to three weeks. Now, once you have that sales tax permit, you will have to just uh, put it in right here and then you will have to click on collect sales tax right here. Now, one other thing which is actually super important and which have a lot of people actually forget to do is to categorize products for tax purposes. Now, basically, all kind of sorts of different products basically have different kind of taxes. So, so to prevent misconceptions and so to prevent false tax payments, you will have to categorize everything the way you want to. Like, for example, I have an oversized t-shirt in my shop. Now, this is just an example shop. And this oversized t-shirt obviously would be clothing. And Shopify selected clothing automatically. Now, in this case, clothing is the is the right answer. But if you have if you if this basically isn't the right answer, then you can always change it. You can either just look for um, look for the the thing that you want to. You can either just look for um, look for the category, or you can just go under these subcategories, and you will basically it will also get the job done. And once you're ready, you can click on accept and save. And then you will have to click on accept and save all right here. Now, if you have, if you already basically categorized everything, these products that will, that are categorized will show up right here. As you can see, I have a glass vases and obviously the category for this would be vases right here. Now, if you want to, you can also add some shipping overrides right here to basically set custom tax rates for shipping destinations. So if some so if some shipping destinations basically cost more money, then you can also add an extra tax onto these shipping locations. However, I would actually recommend you to not do that 
if it's not that big of a difference because this can actually kind of hurt your customer conversion rate if this is going to be a lot. Now for the product overrides, if you want to, you can also set custom tax rates for collection of products. Now if you create a tax override for a categorized product, the tax will be calculated using the override in jurisdiction where it applies. Now for all other jurisdictions, the taxes will be calculated using the product category. Now this just basically means if you want to tax a certain product a little bit more or a little bit less, then you have that option by adding a product override right here. Now, as you can see right here, to actually get started with this, you need to add a tax registration for a state. However, this is just a test store, so I can't actually do that. Now, Shopify usually does a very good job when it comes to automating everything. And right here on the monitor your liability, if you have some kind of different action required, then you will actually see that right here. You can also uh, see your monitoring required and no action required uh, pop-ups. So basically, if you, for example, have an economic nexus, um, then this is going to be show up. Uh, this is going to show up right here. Now, an economic nexus is basically just uh, when a business presence in a U.S. state that makes an out-of-state seller liable to collect sales tax there. Now, once a set level of transactions or sales activity is going to be met, you will basically have to uh, pay for sales tax in that other states. Now, this is basically only going to be applicable for quite big stores out there. But still, it is super important to actually cover this. Now, for most states, you will actually have an economic nexus threshold of 100,000 US dollars or 200 transactions over 12 months. However, there are also exceptions to this. For example, in Texas and California, California the threshold is $500,000. And there are also some states where there are no sales tax, like for example, Oregon or Montana. Now to get back to Shopify, you can basically also always access all of the data using this reporting feature right here. You will just have to click right here and then you will see all of the sales tax data that you will basically have to pay. Shopify can't pay the taxes for you, right? So you will have to do it on your own. But other than that and other than uh, basically getting your own sales tax permit, everything is automated by Shopify. So in my opinion, it is definitely worth it to actually go for the Shopify tax plan right here. As you can see, we are going to pay 0.35% as a fee after you reach 100,000 US dollars per year. And for that, you're going to get calculations, reporting, liability insights, exemptions, and also some advanced features. And basically, I, I definitely think it's worth it. However, obviously, if you already are an established business, for example, then it obviously could also make sense to go for the basic tax option or for the manual tax option, depending on if you have your own accountant or not. Now, all in all, I think the overall Shopify tax system definitely got way easier than it was beforehand. And if you've actually found this video helpful, then make sure to like and subscribe. I've also made the other video where I showcase the best Shopify dropshipping suppliers, which you can watch right here. And if you have any more questions, as always, you can leave them in the comments down below.